So it's the 1st of October and I've decided to take part in uh, Vlogtober. So I will be attempting to record some snippets of my daily life every day for the month of October, as well as my regular, more or less weekly podcast that I will also be uploading on this channel. I'll label the videos separately so that those who don't wish to follow Vlogtober can simply carry on following the main podcast. I'm trying this morning to work on my new Adi Express Professional, uh, which is a 22 needle knitting machine. I've tried a, a couple of attempts with waste yarn and made a bit of a botch of it, but I seem to now be getting the hang of things. Um, I, I'm working on a pair of sock tubes using this yarn. This is a 97% alpaca, 3% uh, polyamide uh, sparkle yarn. Um, and the polyamide is itself 28%, is, sorry, is 80% acrylic and 20% the polyester metallic thread. I'm only knitting the tube for the socks in this yarn. Um, I have two 50 gram cakes and I'm working on the first one at the moment and I'm putting waste yarn at the beginning and at the end of, I'll just give you a, a quick view from underneath, I think you can see the pink yarn is the waste yarn that I cast on with and I'm using the blue yarn as the knit fabric I will just pull that out and you can see it's actually quite an attractive knit fabric and I will be putting waste yarn at the other end of the fabric as well. Sorry, Toby's decided to put his head right in the middle of where I'm filming, which is usual for Toby. And my intention will be to put a much stronger yarn at the toes and heels and the cuffs. Um, and it will either be a high contrast yarn or something that uh, complements the blue. I've not decided yet what but as soon as I have, I will let you know. So as you can see, it's a fairly simple repetitive action. I'm just turning the wheel and the knitting goes round. I'll give you a top down view of what's going on. You can see that the needles come up, push the yarn from the previous round over the back, and then the needles can pick up the new yarn to take down and the process repeats. So it's rather like the um, hand loom that I've been using and it effectively just pushes the yarn through um, each stitch of the previous row, which is fun. Um, Bunty seems to have found a game for herself, but she's one dot now, so I think that's probably it. I, I, I don't like to not hold the yarn. I'm not really holding it in great deal of tension, but I'm holding it in enough tension that it doesn't stick. Um, but there we are, so that's what, what I'm doing this morning. I will probably record again later. Oh, sorry, just to give you the proper update, this is the yarn that I've been using. Um, the colorway is Sapphire. If I can get that to focus, there we are. And um, that's it for now. Bye. So there have been a couple of false starts today, but eventually I've got these two tubes knitted on my uh, Addy Express knitting machine. As you can see, I've got waste yarn at the top and bottom of each. I've tried them on and they're longer than they need to be. So um, I've started putting a cuff on one of them in a contrasting colour, the white. And I'll be doing the toe and the heel in the same colour. Um, so what I will be doing is measuring how far down the leg I want this to go. I want it to be a calf high sock and then work out where I want the heel to go and cut that in here and then work out where the toe has to go and then I'll have the, the rest of the sock tubing left over. Um, I've, as I say, I've started on this but I've only done a few rows. Um, but I'm hopeful of getting a completed pair of socks in the next 24 hours, which is really excellent. So I think that will be my first um, vlog for October. I will get this all edited up and online and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Bye.